televised update for us all. We'll bring you the latest. Are you helping elderly neighbours, checking in on them, or offering to take them supplies? You can also tweet us at BBC Radio Wales. We'll also hear this morning from some small business owners just to hear what they're doing differently this week. And, of course, we'll bring you the very latest from across Europe. And also this morning, we'll be talking about the video of two goats who got onto a roof of a house in the Rhonda. It's gone viral. We'll be hearing how Trouble and Nape were coaxed down. Weekday mornings from six. BBC Radio Wales Breakfast with Claire Summers. Good morning. Welcome to the programme. Well, countries across Europe are shutting their borders as the number of people who died from the coronavirus outbreak has risen again. 35 people have now died here in the UK and people are being told not to call 111 and just to stay at home if they think they've got it. We'll look at the situation right around the world in just a second. But first, Tom, what is the latest situation here in Wales, in the UK? Right, so there is a lot that has happened over the weekend, Claire. So the state of play this morning, 94 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Wales. Another 34 were confirmed yesterday. Uh, Denbyshire, Merthyr Tidville and Gwynedd are the only three counties in Wales that don't have any cases as it stands. Uh, there is a caveat to those figures which is that Public Health Wales has stopped testing people generally. It's only now for people who are sick enough to need to go into hospital. So those figures are likely to be far lower than the real number of people who have the coronavirus. The assumption now is that people who've got flu-like symptoms probably do have it. And as you said, the advice is just for people to stay at home, not to go to a GP surgery or a hospital, not to call 111 unless your symptoms get much worse or if you can't cope at home. Some of the symptoms you'll remember are things like a fever or a cough. Now, the UK Health Secretary over the weekend suggested that everyone over 70 will be told to stay at home in the coming weeks. Nothing's been confirmed about that yet. We should find out a bit more today because there's going to be a daily briefing at Downing Street from today. Face-to-face uh, -face assessments for benefits are also being suspended. So if you need to go for an appointment to see whether you can get a disability benefit, for example, those are being called off to try to protect vulnerable people. But if you were in the shops over the weekend, you would have seen the supermarket shelves empty. Things like pasta just completely gone. Uh, toilet rolls you haven't been able to, to get for love nor money. Uh, and uh, these are the views of some of the shoppers who were out over the weekend talking to the BBC. Not a lot on the shelves left. Um, no toilet roll at all, uh, absolutely none. So I had to resort to buying boxes of, of tissue, unfortunately. Have you tried to stock up on anything yourself? Um, yes, to be perfectly honest, just because everyone else is doing it. Um, but they did limit us when we went to pay. It's a bit ridiculous. I can't find some toilet paper. Well, supermarkets are also urging people to stop panic buying. Uh, you might have had some emails over the weekends from the supermarket saying, look, there will be supplies, but you just need to be very sensible about how much you buy to make sure that there are supplies for everyone else, particularly for older people. And what about the rest of the world, Tom? So, Italy is at the centre of the outbreak now. Uh, of course, the coronavirus outbreak break started in China, but only four new cases have been reported there. Uh, more than 24,000 cases in total, though, in Italy. The number of people who've died in Italy has uh, reached more than 1,800. Spain also seems to be badly affected. The advice from the UK government not to travel there now. In Spain, they banned people from leaving home except to get food and uh, medical supplies. 288 people have died in Spain. 120 people have died in France, they're banning or non-essential travel. Uh, same story in the US as well. Bars and restaurants have been closed with places like New York are replacing the gates of Athens of more than 50 people. We've also started to see cases in Africa. At the moment, the outbreak seems to have uh, senses on Asia and Europe. 26 countries in Africa have now reported cases. The concern there is that health systems aren't as sophisticated, perhaps, as in more... Uh, 
that developed countries in the West, so there are concerns about how some countries in Africa will cope with that outbreak. One of the more bizarre stories uh, this morning, though, is the owner of Louis Vuitton is going to start making hand sanitizer, which is a very strange sentence to say. Their factories, which would normally be producing perfume, they're going to switch to making hand sanitizer instead because there's uh, a shortage of hand gels in France. Yeah, so as it stands, schools still open. Uh, the Welsh Youth Parliament, 20 of the members, young people who represent different places around Wales, they've written a letter to the Welsh Government saying they think that schools should be closed. As it stands, though, the advice is that schools will remain open. The Welsh Government says uh, the evidence doesn't suggest it would help because what's likely to happen is if schools were closed, children would end up being looked after by their grandparents, who are one of the most at-risk uh, groups. Several universities are changing their stance, though, particularly in Wales. Uh, we've learned that Bangor University is going to suspend lectures, face-to-face -face teaching, for the rest of the academic year. Cardiff University also planning to phase out lectures, and staff are going to start working from home. Lots of people I imagine working from home today. Yeah, probably listening to us now. Good morning if you're planning to work from home and uh, listening to us uh, this morning. Uh, the Foreign Office is now advising against all but essential travel to Spain, including the Balearic and Canary Islands. Uh, 200 deaths from the virus confirmed in the country, the second highest number in Europe behind Italy. Well, Ryanair says it's severely reducing flights from tonight to and from, from mainland Spain, and that uh, Jet 2 and Easy Jet cancelled all flights there. Arena Bodnarek is a reporter for the Costa Blanca News and runs the website Benedum, Benedorm all year round. The ones in hotels are fine in that they can go and stay in a hotel, but there are many groups here that come to self catering apartments, and they're the ones with restaurants being closed, they're the ones that have got a real problem. I'm telling people if they're here at the moment, get out now because airspace will, it's only a matter of time before it's locked down, probably in the next couple of days. Well, a state of emergency was also declared on Saturday night. Fran Garcia Martin is a journalist who's self-isolating with his family in Madrid. Good morning, Fran. Good morning. How are you doing? We're fine, but tell us, what is life like for you at the, the, the moment? You've, you've got a little one as well. Yeah, yeah, I have a baby of one year old. Well, the situation, as you can imagine, is quite quite serious here now. Well, we, this is the second day we are uh, uh, we cannot go out from home. Um, we were actually uh, my family and me for a week self uh, isolation because uh, we were ill uh, like 15 days ago. We had a fever, and so from, from there we, we, we didn't go out. Um, as you said, the situation now is as far as you can say. The spread doubled in, in, uh, in two days. We are now at the end of uh, uh, almost 8,000 people uh, infected. And uh, yeah, we, we can do that. I was just afraid and, and, and trying not to get out and, and, and not have any contact with anyone uh, in order to flatten the curve because the, the contagion is, is, is really huge and um, the, the, the medical staff and the hospital are, are over heaven. Um, so yeah, um, the only thing we can do is just wait and in any case there's no treatment for this so you just have to keep safe at home and, uh, and just wait. Yeah, we, you know, we're reading about this rapid increase of, of deaths in Spain, uh, you know, a wave of restrictions across Europe. How long will you be in isolation for? How long am I living in isolation? Well, uh, for the moment it will be for 15 days, and then um, they will see if they will um, make a period longer. Uh, in that case, they will have to go, the government will have to go to the parliament and get an approval for that. Uh, but well, in any case, I think what, what is important here is that uh, it's uh, raising a, a, a bizarre feeling of solidarity between people. Uh, you know, so every night at, at 8 o'clock, at PM, uh, people get out there to the balconies, to their uh, windows, uh, and start talking uh, to send the medical staff the real work they're doing. And um, 
We are Israel to the home, so uh, people starting organizing themselves via social networks, things like that. So uh, there are psychologists that are ready uh, to talk with you if you are in a, in a need. Uh, and the people uh, have as well uh, groups, organized groups in, in social networks, so they can talk with someone else uh, for half an hour, an hour. And all of those uh, initiatives are volunteers uh, who are doing this. It's, it's really emotional, actually. Yeah, human spirit it is strong there. Fran, please stay safe. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking to us uh, this morning. Uh, Fran there, uh, Garcia Martin, who's a journalist, self-isolating with his family in Madrid this morning. And uh, clearly, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, dominating news right across the globe. It is really, Tom, the only story in town, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much every single one of the uh, newspapers featuring uh, stories about the coronavirus outbreak this morning. But let's just run through a few of them just so you can get a flavour of what's going on in headlines this morning. Quite set a start for one of front of the Guardian. The virus could last for up to a year. Daily Express says the virus could put 8 million people in hospital in the UK. Lots of the papers focusing on the impact on elderly people, particularly with that suggestion over the weekend that old people could be forced to stay at home. So the Daily Mirror's headlines save our elderly uh, old people facing potentially four months in isolation. We will keep you up to date with uh, any developments on that. But um, there is... In everything, I suppose, um, some sort of lighter story. So the Metro saying children at the school in Cornwall are being told not to high-five the lollipop man for well, trying to avoid spreading germs. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. it makes sense, doesn't it? It does, yeah, when you think about it. Don't high-five the lollipop man. Just give him a big smile, <laughs> a lollipop lady. So, uh, well done, doing a cracking job. And just a rem reminder for you as well, listening this morning, that advice from Public Health Wales, uh, those with a fever or a new persistent cough to self-isolate for seven days. The advice is don't go to a GP surgery, pharmacy or a hospital and only contact NHS 111 if you can't cope with the symptoms at home or the condition worsens. That is the advice from Public Health Wales. Uh, of course, the huge impact on the sporting world and it could get worse. Yeah, and loads of speculation about how football is going to solve the gridlock of all the fixtures piling up now. The Daily Mail says that a growing a number of Premier League clubs are ready to abandon the season. I don't think Liverpool would be uh, be one of those. The Sun um, says that uh, UEFA have a plan how they're going to deal with the Champions League and Europa League. They say that the semi-finals and the final will be played over five days in one city. Of course, tomorrow bosses are meeting to discuss what's going to happen with Euro 2020, um, increasingly likely to be postponed. And you might have seen these pictures online last night. They're on the back of the Express in the Mirror this morning. Chelsea's England star Mason Mount having a kick about in public with West Ham's Declan Rice while he was supposed to be self-isolating and um, that's after teammate Callum hudson Adoy tested positive for coronavirus they were spotted at a football centre in North London. Oh dear. Ian, for now, thank you very much. 6.21 is the time. Let's bring you a travel...